All right. Can we get up here? I don't. It doesn't look like I can. Yeah, but uh, we can get to our cell tower, which is conveniently next to our safe house. But I don't think I'm gonna change loadouts until I actually break this damn gun because that's gonna be a while. And I just want to show you the. I just want to show you the, uh, the integrity that this AK provides. I mean, I personally have not, uh, used an AK-47, but, um... You know, I'm gonna take it from a lot of people that it's one reliable ass gun. And since this is the golden AK-47, it's extremely reliable. Because apparently gold, gold paint, because uh, you cannot shoot a gun that's completely gold, I'm sorry. Gold with wood handguards? No, no. Not only is that a waste of money, it's just a waste in general. So let's go ahead and quick save again. Let's do this mission. Ring-a-ding-ding. Alright, we have... Uh, a mute phone call, so that's kind of stupid. We have a mission there. So let's go ahead and go get them. And uh, why not? Let's take a little bit of a risk. Uh, let's jack us a boat or something. And uh, take the boat, even though this is the area where grenade launching swab boats roam. And it's not exactly smart to be traveling by boat in this area unless you want to get blown up. But you know what? I think I can finally deal with those grenade launchers. So, a swamp boats. Let's just stay low. Because that assault truck should not see me. Hey, we got a boat right now. Alright, this is not a grenade launching swamp boat. So we did not eliminate the threat of one. But what we are going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to get out of here extremely quick. Because we don't like grenade launching swamp boats. No, we do not. We don't. No, we don't. Alright. Um, I could... I could go for that mortar guy's trying to get me, but he's not going to. I could go for a diamond hunt in this lake. But, uh... I don't think it's going to, uh... Fit into my schedule and just trying to get all these missions done soon. So... Sorry, but we're gonna have to do that one later. Ah, I remember this one. And this will, uh, where's the nearest cell tower from here? Not very close. So in the bridge. And going back to that one cell tower is always a very big risk because of that grenade launching swamp road. So I don't think that's going to be a common occurrence going back to that cell tower unless it's by land. So, let's find our man. Yeah, baby. AK-47, baby. Ooh, yeah. Even though I personally wouldn't... If I was going to choose any assault rifle out there, 
I personally wouldn't choose an AK-47. I choose a uh, I choose an ACR because one, it's very ergonomic. Two, with a change of a lower receiver, you can have uh, a gun that shoots 7.62 or 5.56. Bitch. Thank you for joining the club. Alright, um, let's roll. We get to go through our, uh, least favorite location with our, uh, twin guard posts that always provide you some kind of hell. But, uh, such is life. That this kind of sucks. I don't have a sniper rifle to take out that rocket launcher guy, so this could be very interesting. But uh, if you don't know which cell tower we're going to, it's uh, it's the one. Oh fuck! Never mind. We're good. We're cool. No, we're not. See, he's turning around. See, bitch. Alright, he's doing an Austin Powers turn, so we might have him off our nutsack for a little while. This guy right here. Come on. Just die, please. Hey, let's see if I can reach him with a grenade. Yeah, a rocket. Done now? Looks like it. Cool. So now with that uh with that rocket launcher out of our way, I'd say it's safe enough to get the hell out of here. Yeah, that's one of those songs that you can just get stuck in your head. I don't know what that song's called, but uh, I learned it from the movie Big. If anybody's seen the movie Big, that's uh, another brilliant Tom Hanks movie. Not by Tom Hanks, but he's in it. Tom Hanks always has a lot of good movies. I might need to go see Cloud Atlas. Don't, I still don't know if uh, I'm going to like that one or not. I know it's got Tom Hanks in it, but that does not automatically mean that it's good. Asshole. Stop shooting my car. It doesn't cover damage by guns. Oh, guys, I got something to share with you. Alright, um... I own, my dad owns a cabin. Ever since I was a little boy, he used to bring me and my brother up there, and we'd have trails through the woods, and we'd ride four-wheelers, and we'd just have a good time up at the cabin, go swimming, because there's a lake there. On our way to the cabin, we have, we have to go through the cities, and, uh, shut up, we, are, we all know that message. Go, uh, on the way through the cities, we we saw this car at this junkyard, or uh, I don't know exactly what it was, but it was this it was this Dodge Charger, I think it was. Man, I have never ever seen such a waste of a car. That thing was covered in bullet holes. I never got the full story of exactly what happened there, but. Holy shit, man. That thing was covered in bullet holes. You could only imagine what happened to that car. I hope nobody died. I hope it was just some drunks that thought it was a good idea to shoot up the damn car, but... But fuck, man. That was just... That was just such a waste. Son of a bitch. Yeah. That might have been a bad move. 
Yep, I just blew up every car. Fuck. 